Uh, Stephen Brown, NEN Lawyers. We're going to have a quick two minute session on terms and conditions of sale. Terms and conditions of sale or business are an integral part of any business. Like any contract, they should be used as a checklist of what you are to do, when you are to do it, and how you are to do it. The same question should be asked and answered for your customers or clients. Terms and conditions of business are important to make it easy to get paid, to charge interest on late payments, secure payment of fees, and to do with what your customers, customers obligations are to you. It is important in dealing with suppliers to know what their terms and conditions say and to abide by them. The law assumes that if a person signs a legal document, they have taken precautions to look after their own interests by having read and understood the document they signed. Judges find it difficult to believe people when they say, I just signed it without reading it. Being highly risk adverse people who are unlikely to have ever contemplated signing a document without reading and understanding what it says, judges have great difficulty in thinking that successful business people such as yourself would ever do such a thing. Consequently, in a court case, putting this proposition is generally viewed as not being true. It makes the person's case, your case should it be the situation, even if true, one that a judge finds hard to accept or indeed impossible to accept. Although it is essential to have terms and conditions of business, they do give rise to the battle of the forms. This battle takes place when parties to a contractual relationship fall out and each one says that it was their terms that govern the contractual relationship, not the other parties. Battles of the forms, like many court arguments, are expensive to run as they depend upon the facts of the case, which are often hard and time consuming and difficult to establish, having regard to the fact that they occurred many years in the past and business people tend not to often have the best records. It is important therefore to have terms and conditions of business that you use as a management risk avoidance tool and which you and the other party know are those that govern the business relationship you and they are in.